They said let's not cry, but here she is. Like, if I saw the amount of people that are telling me they're coming, and I'm thinking, brother, oh, no, you don't need to come. Like, if I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even the main person talking, so what's the tea? Mm, you do. Know? God help um, us, honestly. You'll be fine. You've done events before. This is like my second one. The other one I did um, was me hosting, obviously. That one, I was nervous. <laughs> um, but I think it was alright. I did okay. This one, I was just like, I hope they don't ask me too many questions because other people look funny, you know. We only have five questions and they're very oh, yeah. like, they're very like, um, straightforward. Straightforward, like, what's your name? What'd you do? <laughs> like, What'd you do? Like, yeah, yeah like, um, not what do you do, but is this someone? But around that. Yeah, like what do you do? Like, um, do you think it's important to say that you're East African or do you just do whatever? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, those yeah. kinds of things. Okay, okay. It's like That's really, fine. really, really, it's, it's kind of one of those things that you can take it as deep as you, you want to take <laughs> it. If you don't have the capacity to take it that way, then you don't have to. But yeah. Yeah, it's literally like no, five okay. questions. Um, we're gonna be fine you're gonna do well it's a big thing it's the vna girl it's so it's crazy big, so it's only god that we can only bigger bigger things bigger things honestly but i could actually cry but let me not cry because my makeup thank you all right no worries bye Take a look. We to everyone in the Thomas, I, I 
acting, you know, that's cool, but he actually wrote it. Like, he was 16 years old writing on this TV show. So to me, that's like, raw. That's insane. There's a young British Ugandan who has got a job at Channel 4 where he gets to have creative input on a television show. That is immediately something that I can cop to. And now it's like, it's mad because in my head, he was this figure who must have been so much older and been so much further ahead than what he's doing. And I'm like, now what he's saying, I'm like, I'm like three years older. <laughs> but it was still great to see. So hopefully, bit by bit, as I continue my career, I can have that. I think the plus is the fact that East Africa isn't spotlighted a lot, and so a lot of people will be super surprised to be like, oh wow, like, there's people in East Africa doing drill, there's people in East Africa doing this and that, and like, fashion is a huge thing in East Africa, that in Kenya in particular, that I've seen that I'm like, I've seen people wear things that I'm like, where did you get that? <laughs> link me. Um, so I think for me that's the biggest thing and also the connection that East Africa has with the rest of the world. I think it has like a really unique relationship with different countries. So for example, Kenya has a really unique relationship with South Africa and it has a really unique relationship with Jamaica. So for me, I think it's that like unspoken or oh, not unspoken, less spoken thing about East Africa that makes it special. Um, 
and we came in. So I just thought um, they kind of tap into it, but it's also to do down to like popularity. Um, and I feel like, yeah, they do play on music and they don't give chances. I don't know, I'm stuck in two ways about it because it's like the youth are powerful enough to be able to push their own force and, you know, create their own movement. But if they're not being given the opportunity to be able to do that, then that that's not gonna it's not gonna happen or cultivate into anything. So yeah. Okay. There you We are on our way home from speaking at the VNA. We hosted a panel at the VNA, the Victoria and Albert Museum. Was home to a 66 panel. Do you know how fucking crazy that is? Did you know? Nah, sorry, I'm not even gonna cry because. <laughs> but nah, when I tell you. This shit wasn't, this is like, this is like bucket list type shit, yeah? But it weren't even on my fucking bucket list. Like, do you know how nuts that is? As in like, I'm actually just here because someone thought that I deserved to be in this room. And like, ah, yeah, no, it's crazy. And I got to do it with some of my favorite people. I got to do it with like a really like, no. <laughs> They said, let's not cry, but here she is. Yes, Do you know what it is, yeah? It's just that if you know what I've actually gone through in the last six months, to be in a position where this is what you're doing. And this, like, I joke around when I say stuff like this, yeah? But I actually drove past Buckingham Palace just to get to like this um, panel that I was doing. And it's just like, this is so crazy. Like, this is so crazy. Like, this is actually like, the Victoria and Albert, Albert Museum is apparently one of, it is the world's largest design museum, apparently. Arts and design museum. And then here you have 24 year old me who has been told that she's too junior to do this and not experienced enough to do this and all of these things. Essentially curating a panel of people and people that like, I never really, like nah, sorry. Like I actually just need to give myself a moment because this is actually crazy. I'm gonna drive. I probably won't look like this when I get home, but, <laughs> This is crazy, like why am I crying? Oh, 